We got this started a number of years ago because I recognized as a result of working with our students on fellowships applications, on the undergraduate publications we have here on campus, on students who are working on senior theses, that there were some terrific puzzles that these students were wrestling with and that they were being caught up in the excitement both of solving a puzzle and then that irresistible urge that any scholar has that once you solve the puzzle you really want to tell it to everybody else. And this seemed like a wonderful way to do this, to have a special day in which we would give them the opportunity to do those presentations and at the same time celebrate the work that they were doing. So that was how the symposium was born. I think it's been a wonderful success. Uh, it's a marvelous experience for our students and it certainly is a wonderful experience for the wider Boston College community to see the level of, of scholarly and artistic achievement that our students uh, put on display during this day. For me, this, this uh, experience of returning to Rwanda was most about how do I uh, discover and know this hope that I encountered um, before. How do I uh, grapple with this, especially coming from a place where, um, you know, how do you speak about hope when you don't have any? Uh, I didn't know, and the best answer to that question for me was to talk to the people that did, uh, and that meant going back to Rwanda. I was asked to spend this week, week teaching English in a small Palestinian village in the northern part of the occupied West Bank called El Aqaba. While teaching, I learned that the power of language exceeds that of simple communication for my Palestinian students. It gives them the power to reach intellectually far beyond the physical confine, confines of the occupied territory they are largely unable to leave. Research, why do we do it? I mean, why do we do it? That's an interesting question. I mean, at one level, uh, hopefully it's fun. But as a Jesuit, we do it because we actually want to tell people's stories. We actually want to recover that story of that person, be it a four-year-old girl who was, uh, um, you know, in the Salem witch trial. We want to tell her story. You know, we want to talk about the people who do binge eat or binge drink. We want to say, why is this the case? We want to talk about uh, the people who are buried in an abbey in Ireland. We, because it matters. If my life matters and your life matters, well, so do these people we study. So we research people's stories to recover these stories. The big stories, Edward Bates, the artist, and the little story, the story of the people who's not told. And that's what we do as Jesuits. That's why we encourage educa education, but hopefully all humanists do. The whole research process for nursing students especially is very important because advancing the practice and advancing different um, interventions and programs that we can focus at these at-risk populations is very important. Yeah, it was definitely a little nerve-wracking, um, but I think that it's being received very well and it's nice to educate people who aren't familiar with this topic, um, other non-nursing. Yeah, especially since this topic is so prevalent to uh, the majority of people that would be attending this conference and this is who we're targeting. It's always nice to uh, be able to present one's work and uh, for me it was certainly a lot of preparation going through using some of the uh, work that I already put together with my after grant report and then um, going through and editing it and trying to get it down under 10 minutes is always a challenge but it was it was fun it was an opportunity to share my work with others and uh, try and put uh, Reagan in the context of our current 2012 presidential campaign which was uh, very exciting. I'm going to use my uh, advanced study grant project as a foundation next year uh, for my senior thesis, which will analyze the roles of uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt and Ronald Reagan as civic educators. And it would not have been possible without the, uh, the help and support of Boston College and this advanced study grant.